Morning, everybody. Jason, Hollis Farms. Been a little bit different this morning. The wind is blowing pretty good. Warmed up a little bit. High 50s. It's raining. I don't know if y'all can see it or hear it. Uh, it was supposed to already be really storming, but it, it looks like it may be spotty for a little while. I'm not sure. That radar may change. It's coming down pretty good now. But what my plan is, get down here, I've got to get some gas. I forgot to get gas yesterday, and I mean it's on fumes right now. But anyway, get down here and get some gas, and get down here, throw my rain suit on, get my camera covered up. Oh, I want to carry my bow because I'm going to go sit in a blind. I ain't made my mind up on that yet or not. I might just carry my shotgun since it's raining so bad. Ooh, I got a sneeze. Uh, I went away for a minute. Oh, I think I'm going to carry a couple decoys with me, especially on a day like today that, oh, what's that like this thing come down? Oh, since I can't gonna be able to hardly call because it's going to be so windy and rainy. Just hoping maybe it'll slack up or something or they want to come out in this opening to get out of the rain, out of the rain. I'm going to get in the field and just, I think I'm going to carry a Jake, a new Jake and a pen maybe today and just kind of see what happens. I hate to miss, even though it's raining. I've got a lot of turkeys in the rain before, so can't kill them in the bed. We'll go see what happens. We can always sit in that blind and take a nap, catch up on some sleep.
guys are supposed to work. Man, that was fun. I almost grabbed my bow this morning, but it's supposed to be storming. It's been raining off and on, lightning and stuff. I said, I just bring my shotgun. How awesome would that have been with a bow? But it was very awesome with this shotgun. about to choke. I had to let them separate. I didn't want to get both of them. When I got here this morning, I was early. And about the time I was setting the decoys up and got close to the blind, a hen started clucking. Not putting, clucking. She was just waking up. 40 yards from me and uh, I said I thought I was gonna spook them so but I, it's here I just went ahead and eased on in and then she started yelping I think I got some of that but anyway I never really heard them fly down I guess they kind of pitched down it's been windy rainy and I'd heard a turkey up that way gobbling pretty good and I thought I heard one back that way I don't think these turkeys gobble. I did hear a turkey on the ground earlier, but I don't think it was these. And uh, I just sitting here looked across there and saw black and that red head and they popped out. I don't know if they had seen the decoys at that point yet or not. But anyway, they come up there and one strutted he gobbled out there a while ago and I don't know if he gobbled on film or not I don't know I was about to lose it it ain't but about 15 yards and when they locked in on that decoy and I knew I had them I would have been having a stroke with my bow but with the shotgun I just that's some that should be some good footage I hope I, I ain't even look back I hope the camera was on I don't even know them things tear me up god I love it, but that thing about, he did knock the decoy over, he's propped up on his tail. I think day in and day out, if you're going to use decoys, oh, from what I've used, that Jake and a hen, it's easy to tote. That old hen decoy is an old feather flex that folds up. She don't look the best, but. I don't think the hen makes as much difference as that Jake. I mean, he looks real. And they just flogged him. Golly, where was my little bow? <sighs> you can't beat a shotgun, but now that bow ain't that. That's different. Golly, that's fun. I wouldn't trade that for nothing. Pretty good bit of gobbling in the tree this morning, but... Not a herd like well, maybe one gobble on the ground and these gobbled up here at the crows. Them crows was right on top of me. Whew, I'm kind of cool and I'm starting to shake. I'm finna look back at this footage for a minute. I wanna see it and then I'm gonna go out there and we'll get him and see what he is. about that pretty ain't he he didn't do much flopping had a pretty good spur 
probably a, he might be a two year old. He got a rope on him. Fun hunt right there, y'all. All right, y'all, that was a fun, fun hunt. Oh. Anyway, I am headed back up here to the barn. I think Brian's on his way out. Oh. Anyway, I cut the wings off this turkey. I've been watching the old Catman Outdoors. I really like watching him. He does a good job. And I've been listening to him using wing bone calls. So, and he did a video showing how to make them and all, and I know it'll take a while. I may video some of that as I'm doing it, but uh, something I've never done. I've always liked the way they sounded. And I had I like a wooden yelper kind of like that years ago, but that's kind of getting way back. That's probably one of the first turkey calls I'm sure the Indians and all used back then. So I am interested. I actually ordered a couple from a guy up in New York the other day, but it, it just can't get it off my mind to make one. So that's what I'm going to do with the wings if I don't mess it up. I guess if we mess it up, we'll try again. Alright, so I whittled on them uh, wing bones for a little bit. First time I ever done that. I managed the first one to uh, bust the smaller bone. So I have seen some two bone calls. That one's going to have to be a two bone call. It's going to be anything, but I kind of figured out what I needed to do on the next one. I got all three of them out right. Now, I got them cleaned up pretty good. I got to get me some stuff. I, watching old cat man, he, uh, what he use? I think he used Borax and Dawn. So, got to round me up some of that. Get me a pot. Boil them. I don't know if I'll get started on that today anyway. Today, but I won't do a whole video on just, just, uh, building a turkey call. We'll just throw it in through our daily video and see if we can't get one worked out. I'm going to watch some more videos too and I think I got a good idea how to fit them together and all that. I'd have put string on them after they glue them and kind of fancy them up and all that stuff. I don't know. I'm going to look at some more videos and see why and what and all that they do. I got to find me something to eat on. Hungry! Alright y'all, it is raining outside. So I decided to come over here to the brown house, got me, I hope this little pot's big enough. I am fixing to start working on the process of boiling these wing bones. I got me, went to the Dollar General and got me some Dawn dishwashing detergent and some Ajax. And I'm going to stick them in here and see how it works. Maybe this pot's big enough. I think it takes an hour or so to do this and need to do it twice. I'm going to put plenty in there. We want to get them clean. Like I said, this is probably going to be a several video process, maybe. I don't know. I wonder if it's Ajax. I wonder how that will work. Max fragrance. Hope I don't create some concoction that blows up in here. I think what I'll do is leave it in here. I might have to keep an eye on it though. An hour or so is a pretty long time, ain't it? And then I'll uh, probably change my water and clean anything if I need to and then I'll probably do it again. Oh yeah, I decided to do this three bone one first and then probably should have done the two bone first, but see how this works. This is going to be an interesting experience. Alright y'all, I got her rolling. It's been about, oh about 45, no probably about 40 minutes. It's just going to come right off. We'll let it stay in here a few more minutes and I'm going to take it out, take my pocket knife and clean it a little bit, and then do it one more time. I 
Alright y'all, I'm on my second round of boiling. They come in pretty clean. I get the hang of this. I'll do a whole video on, video on this. This is pretty interesting. I'm doing this for a couple of hours, so it uh, takes, a, takes a good little while to do it, and I don't think I ain't even got started yet, but uh, I'll do a video on this when I get the hang of it. I kind of like food on this stuff sometimes. I hope I got enough tools to do everything I need to do. Alright, so I got all my pieces made for my wing bone call. The only thing that might be a problem, some shot went through his wing right there and a hole right there. but And it made it a little harder to clean up than it probably normally would. But I'm going to go ahead and put this in together and figure out how I'm going to glue it. Most of them using some kind of epoxy. I'm going to think I'm going to try. I had some Gorilla Glue. That stuff's pretty good. I think I may do that. Figure out how I'm going to wrap it and put a lanyard on it. This may take me all evening, but this is pretty interesting. Then we got to learn how to call on it. Alright, I am gluing her together now. Using the Gorilla Glue. I really could see where that epoxy would be a little better. This Gorilla Glue's almost too thin and wanting to run a little bit. Are we getting closer? This is going to be interesting. Alright, so I got the turkey call put together. I use Gorilla Glue. I see why they use a epoxy type deal now because it, uh, that Gorilla Glue was just a little bit too runny. But anyway, I wrapped it with some yarn. Not yarn, some like some sewing thread. Uh, it kind of looks kind of rough, but anyway. If it'll seal up and work, I'll be fine. Next time we do it, we're going to get some kind of epoxy and do it. But uh, kind of interesting. I got to figure out how I'm going to put my lanyard on there where I can run it, wear it around my neck. But pretty interested and it's going to take uh, a little while to learn how to use it, I'm sure. But anyway, about to call it a day. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.